Hey guys, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I have another Timu haul. This, I think, is my seventh haul from Timu getting craft supplies, and let's get into what I got this time. So in my last Timu haul, I had a lot of papers. It was mostly papers, and this time we're going in a different direction. We are starting off with some sponges. These are for inking things up with ink and distress oxide and stuff. They Velcro onto one of these little thingies here, and it's always good to just have a few of those on hand so that you're ready to go. We do have a sticker pack here. This is called Flower Talk Love Song Series Roof Garden. It's 30 pieces. This is a bird cage. Let's see if we can zoom in for you. These are transparent, so they might be a little tricky to see, but we have lots of bird cages in this set. Let me also say, if you can hear the noises of my dishwasher in the background, I'm really sorry. It's pretty quiet, but I don't know what the camera is going to pick up and what it won't. Up next, we have this embossing folder. You can see it looks like um, old-fashioned writing. And I'll be able to put papers in between here and run it through my die-cut machine to emboss the papers. I also got a lot of dies, so... After we look at everything, we'll run these things through the machine, that kind of stuff, and test them out and see how they do. Here is a mushroom die. This one, um, it's like a front door, and that's like the screen door, I think, that goes on there. And I can't remember if that's like the front steps. It's like a little doorway scene. Here's a window with some shutters, and there's some flowers and like a plant box that would go underneath the window. This one has some gnomes and mushrooms. And then I think there's a stamp set that came with this that pairs with it, but I'm going to have to dig through the bag and see if I can find that. Yes, here they are. So these stamps work together with these dies here. So for example, you cut out this mushroom, and then you can stamp over the piece that you cut with the die cuts. This one's got a fancy swirly pattern. Here we just have some pocket cutters, some kind of bubbles. Here's some books on a shelf, and there's also a globe and a uh, potted plant there. Here is a hedgehog, some flip-flops. This is a sign that has arrows pointing in every direction. We have a feather. This is, um, you can use this to make a lace bookmark, so you die cut this um, into paper and it makes it look like lace and then you take a ribbon and you go up and down and like weave it in and out these little middle slots and that makes a lovely bookmark. Here we have a clockwork owl. This is a gentleman and lady and they're maybe Victorian dress and they've got some umbrellas. Makes me think of Mary Poppins. Here is another doorway, a turtle, which looks like the one from um, Finding Nemo that really cute little turtle. Here is a little dragon. You can see I went die cut crazy in this one. Um, bees and honey and honeycomb in this set. Another mushroom. This one is some circles that have like little bubbly bits. I don't know how to describe this. Spider web. Another doorway. An elephant. Another owl. And some little tab found more stickers and these are more sets from the flower talk love song series this collection is garden and bottle i think some of the stickers are covering the title here but we'll get it yes garden and bottle is the name of this collection
This one is Pick Up Light Between Flowers. I especially like this one. My grandparents have a clock that's its exact shape in their home, so that will make me think of them. All right, this one's having a bit of an issue getting out of the package. Ah, I made a mess. Flowers and Keys is the name of this one. And this last one is Flowers Fill the Courtyard. While the camera is zoomed in, we need to show this little tiny thing. It is a pin. That's a dragonfly. This is uh, going to be used on a junk journal. I'm going to pull off some parts of the pin um, to just use the dragonfly, but I thought that was really pretty. All right, so we know I got a lot of dyes in this one. The other thing I got a lot of is stencils. So I'll give us something else to test out as well. And I tried to get quite a bit of them quite a few masking kind of stencils. So we'll start with this one here. And that's all the stencils. So I think what I'll do to test these is to work off camera and then I'll bring back the finished products and show you how we did. Okay, so let's talk about testing out these dyes and um, stencils and such. We had a bit of a mixed bag of results and I'm not gonna go through each of the dyes with you individually. I will just show you some of the things that I was able to cut out. Some of them worked well, some of them did not. This little hedgehog, for example, it's kind of in between. The out, outer parts of the hedgehog worked really nicely, but the inner parts that's supposed to pop out with the design, it didn't do so well. Um, this little mushroom did okay. Um, the embossing folder did really beautifully, and maybe if I take this and just go over it with some distress ink you can see it a little bit better I don't have enough ink on my brush I'll just take the ink pad there you can see that that's not a perfect way to show but I mean this is just a test paper um, the owl did pretty well the little clockwork owl this little mushroom thing did okay but it hasn't popped fully out yet I just need to go through it carefully um, so I guess bottom line with die cuts from Timu, I would say, um, expect to get what you're paying for. You're getting a cheaper version of, let's say a Tim Holtz die cut or, you know, something else. Some of them worked really beautifully like this bubble one. Other ones were basically hopeless. So, I mean, I have this door one that works well, but you know, you can't expect to have everything be perfect when you order from Timu. It's just cheaper stuff. Um, the stamps came out really cute, these little little gnomes and stuff. Um, and that's all I'm really going to say about the die cuts and the, the one stamp set. It's just, I mean, it's what it is. It's cheaper stuff.
The stencils, on the other hand, are a different story. I love the stencils. And I took basically this soft brush and some different colors of Distress Ink and just did a little demo um, of each stencil. For these two and the next one you'll see, I use the full stencil. And then the rest, I just use bits and pieces to kind of collage together because I didn't want to use a, a piece of paper for every single stencil. Um, and I haven't even cleaned the Distress Ink off of these yet. That's um, I just got done doing this part. But anyway, we'll show you how that works. So these two look like that. And then this is my other one that's a single piece, which is that lion stencil. I wanted to do a full page on that. And then we have this page here, which is a combination of four different stencils. I have a flower here, this lady, um, this mandala kind of thing here, and feather. So this one we have an elephant down here, and then another lady with a bunch of flowers, um, another mandala, and this kind of floral corner pattern. Here we've got quite a few. We've got a number stencil here, kind of a swoopy um, kind of leaves, I guess an alphabet here, this is a mandala, some words here, and then another mandala. This one was really fun, so we've got this, it kind of looks like a paint splatter almost, and then this pattern, some more letters, more letters, more letters, <laughs> words, and some more words. Here we've got some aspen trees going up this side, and then we've got this that's kind of a mandala pattern and then we've got a couple of clockwork patterns here another mandala here this one's kind of like just some kind of spinning sparkles um, and this is some circular patterns this one comes out looking a little bit fuzzy but that's my fault because I let the stencil slip and move when I was putting the color down that happened once or twice as I was going through this process on this one we've got quite a few flowers so we've got this one here and then this one that kind of looks like a dandelion puff. And then we've got sunflowers here. And there's a mason jar. Um, some little peony kind of flowers. This one, um, you can see a duck flying here above some cattails and reeds. And then we've got some more flowers down here. Okay, here we've got some cross hatching. Um, some stars within hexagons. This one's almost looks like lace a little bit. Here we've got some rectangle patterns, uh, another one with a six-sided star kind of pattern, and some tree branches here. This one turned out really cool because I had some of one color still kind of on the brush, and then I was using chipped sapphire, which is like blue color, and they kind of blended together, but this one is like that fingerprint kind of one, and then this one's just kind of a strange pattern with, made with strange shapes. <laughs> Um, another kind of weird pattern. Um, this one kind of looks like vintage wallpaper. Here we got peacock feathers. This one's some lines with some circles. And then this one goes across this way. Just another interesting pattern. It could, I guess, be used as wood grain possibly. Depending on what kind of wood you're trying to mimic. This one we've got some with like bars or long rectangles here. This one... Um, kind of makes me think jungly. I almost wish I had done it in green just to see what that would look like. Um, this is kind of tiger stripey. This one, I'm not entirely sure what to call it. It's just in this area here. And we've got this kind of circular one. And this one is another one that reminds me a little bit of paint splatters. So I don't know why. And then our last one, we have this circular one here or I guess it's a mandala that goes you know around in circle shapes this looks like shells this one's kind of like bubbles here we got some chevrons made up of lines and then here we've got some that's like almost looks like a pattern of string art within a circle or something like that I don't know it's pretty cool so I am really pleased with the stencils, um, and like I said, the die cut's kind of a mixed bag. Um, Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this video, and um, sadly, I have another Timu haul soon because I can't stop buying stuff from there, so 
I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know in the space below if you are a Timu shopper or if you've gotten any of these things. And in the meantime, have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading or crafting. Adios.